It's been eight days since Suzanne passed away, and her husband of 46 years, Alan Hamill, has been leaning into family to help him through this, and that includes two of their six grandchildren, Camelia and Violet, who I set down in this exclusive interview. First off, how's your granddad? How's Alan doing? He's better than we expected. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's been helpful for him to be surrounded by family. Until the moment she died, he was sitting in bed with her, talking for hours, and she wasn't About their life. She couldn't respond verbally, but I know she heard, and I think for him it was beautiful because she had lost a lot of her mobility, and he was still like kissing her, and she would kiss back. And I think for him it was, it's beautiful. Violet and Camelia shared some touching stories of Suzanne, their grandmother, who they call Zanny. What were the last things you guys said to her? I wrote my grandmother a letter the day before she passed, and in it I asked her to visit me as a yellow butterfly. Because you always see a monarch, you always see an orange butterfly. I was like, Zanny, don't be basic. Like, <laughs> come on, you know, I gotta know it's you. So the day that I went to visit after she had passed, I walked out of the house and there was just this museum level black and yellow butterfly and then I came back and again I didn't know it was her because I was expecting plain butterfly <laughs> I the second I came back into the driveway a plain yellow butterfly flew by and I know she was saying okay okay that's what you want okay here you go here you go <laughs> I'm here was there anything she always said to your girls if you were good at something in her mind, you were the best. Yes. So, <laughs> like when my dad was biking, he was better than Lance Armstrong. 100%. Uh -huh. And I grew up doing musical theater. We were all showing her a video of Lady Gaga, and she looked at me and she said, you're better. And I said, I'm not. I just <laughs> not. But she so believed it. Yeah. Gift giving was Suzanne's love language. Camelia and Violet were both wearing tokens of their Zanny's love. I'm wearing my little, oh, these are, those. these were, she told me it's the first piece of jewelry she bought after Three's Company. And there are these little Elsa Peretti, uh, you know, little bean drops. I love this picture. And am I noticing something, are you wearing the same necklace? So for my birthday last year, she gave me this necklace and she said, I have a story for you. She said when, when my mother died, she left a small inheritance. And she said, and I didn't want to just put it away in a savings because I wanted something to remember her by. She said, so instead I took it to my favorite jewelry designer, Kathy Waterman, and I had her design me something custom. And she said, so I'd like to think that this is from both of your grandmothers. I know. <laughs> and so, and, she, and I said, I never want to take it off. And she said, I hope you don't. And so, since she's passed especially, I've been feeling her through it. Oh, such beautiful girls. Suzanne's legacy will definitely live on through them. By the way, Suzanne wanted her memorial to be a happy one. We're thinking sparkles, glitter, tequila, good music. So that's what the family will have.